Yo, 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 what's poppin'? It's your girl Malia, and we are back with another video. It has been a moment, but I am logging on right now to sit down with you guys and be an iPad kid. Sorry, you guys are, don't fall, baby girl, don't fall. I'm vlogging right now because I just came home from touring my dream apartment and it's time to put the application in. I literally don't even know what to say besides thank you. I wouldn't even be touring this apartment. I wouldn't, I'd be nothing. I am nothing without, I'm not nothing without you guys. I have to give myself some credit. I am smart, I am funny, I am respectful, all of those things, but like my dreams are, be they're coming true because of you guys. And I'm literally so ridiculously thankful. This is insane that I'm about to do this. And that I feel confident doing it. I'm not like, oh, I'm going to go look at apartments. Like, I'm like, no. It's time to sit down and look at apartments. Like, it's time to press apply to these apartments. I believe <sighs> this year was, like, really written out in the stars for me. I want to show you guys something because... I've never done this before and I think it really has changed my mentality. It's given me purpose every morning when I wake up and I wanted to share it because I made, where's the first one I ever made or did I just edit it and update it? I made a mood board, a vision board for, here it is, 2023. Um, I did this like December 29th, 2022. I sat down and was like, what do I want to happen in 2023? And I found pictures that match what I wanted to do and I made a vision board and it was my wallpaper all the way through. And then at the six month mark in July, I was like, okay, I've checked off some of these things. That's amazing. It's time to make a new one. Because as things are happening, that's great. So happy, hope they continue. But now that that door has opened and we've gone through it, there's new doors that can be opened, you know? So this was my mood board in February. Does it focus? Pretty Little Thing is right at the center. I work with Pretty Little Thing on a monthly basis. Check. Fashion Nova is right below it. I work with Fashion Nova on a monthly basis. Two major companies that I wanted to work for because I love fashion. I'm trying to come into my style and I love clothes. I'm working with on a monthly basis. So it's not like, oh, I worked with them. I work with them. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. 23rd birthday, go on a girl's trip. Did that. Did that. I wanted to try out Pilates. Now I have been wanting to sign up for like an actual like monthly Pilates, but I've taken a few classes now. Pilates on there. Check. I wanted to finally invest in where is it? A camera for YouTube. That's what I'm talking to right now. And I wanted to invest in my podcast. Do I podcast as much as I should? No. I wanted to go to Revolve Fest. I didn't get to go to Revolve Fest, but everything happens for a reason. I want to hit a million. We're on the road to one milli, baby, on TikTok. I wanted to walk a red carpet. I walked a red carpet. Um, these were kind of just like photo shoot inspirations. I want to go, I still want to go to New York Fashion Week. I will be going to New York Fashion Week. <laughs> Putting that out there. And then keys, because I wanted to move into my own apartment. And once I noticed that some of these were being fulfilled, especially the center ones, I wanted to change it and update it with my life. And so, where is it? I made a new one. And I'll go through it with you guys when it's time to go through it because I've checked things off but right now the one that's getting checked off like instantly is this moving out one there's so many more <clears throat> excuse me there's I'm getting choked up there's so many more things that I want to do but day by day hour by hour we're getting closer to our dreams and I'm literally about to go apply for my first apartment and the crazy part is is if this application goes through, it's Monday. I move in next Monday. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a wild journey. Once I put in this application, I'm going on Ikea's website, Wayfair's website, Walmart's website, and I'm looking at furniture because I refuse to sit in an empty apartment. Does it have to be fully furnished? No, but I don't wanna sit on the floor. So, couch needs to be found. 
If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Stay tuned to this journey. This move out journey is going to be absolutely insane. I have so much content coming to you. Once I'm in the new apartment, I have so many content ideas. I just couldn't fulfill because I just felt so overwhelmed with the space I was in. I didn't feel productive. I didn't feel creative. And so I'm really excited for this new chapter for us. Stay tuned on this journey and thank you. Besties, I look a hot mess, but we got approved for the new apartment and we move in on Monday. It is Wednesday. We are moving out. Oh my gosh. Let's unpack. Let's debrief. Sit down on the bed. Let's chat. Okay? Sit down. All right. I know you'd be tipsy sometimes. Anywho. I'm gagged. I just came home from a, an event. Before the event, I need chapstick. I've been licking my lips for the last like two and a half hours. I went to an event and... Before the event, we went to happy hour, me and my friend Jordan. I hate when a fire chapstick's running out. Like, why am I squeezing it so hard for anything to come out? I was with, at a dinner with my friend Jordan, and I'm sitting there, and I get an email that says, congratulations, your application has been accepted. Here are your next steps. See you on move-in day on Monday. I literally didn't even know how to act. I'm like, she was talking about her mom. She was talking about something don't even know what she was talking about I said girl I'm so sorry like I'm not listening anymore like I tuned out I've been sitting with staring at my phone for the last three days and I got the email that I got accepted my apartment she goes shots we took a shot we celebrated and then we I had to like act like oh nothing happened like I'm barely being able to text my mom back I'm barely able to text Jamal back because I'm over here trying to like interact at this event talking to like in a uh, head of influencer market like all this stuff I'm trying to ha, hi thanks to nice to meet you ha, 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 ha. I just couldn't wait to get home and tell my people what is going on. So it is Wednesday night. Jamal's on his way here because tomorrow we leave to Palm Springs for a little end of summer vacation. Literally close the summer out. We come home Sunday. Monday I get the keys. And when I tell you if I'm paying for August rent, like a portion of August rent, I'll be living there in August. You know, like I'm not about to be like, oh, well, I'll just slowly. No. We own an air mattress, even if we can't get my mattress to the apartment. Monday night, where I will be laying my head, is in my new apartment. The journey starts now. The way I'm on, I, I forgot that I even had to sign the lease. I'm over here on Amazon adding things to the cart. No, Malia, go to the lease, read your lease, and sign your lease. Like, they already sent you that. Like, why are we over here on Amazon? I almost showed you guys all the screen with all the information. But, um, anywho... It's time to sign this lease. It's time to move in. It's time to go shopping. Ah, I'm literally freaking out. Besides tonight and Sunday night, you're telling me I will be sleeping at my childhood home for two more nights and that's it. Tonight and Sunday night because I'll be gone. The journey starts now. Thank you guys again for blessing my life and being in my life and watching this journey. Without you, this wouldn't be happening. And because of that, I will be documenting every single step because without you, this wouldn't be happening. So you get to see every single step of the way. Let's move out. Yo, 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 what's poppin'? It's your girl Malia and we back, okay? It is 24 hours until we move in to our dream apartment. That means shopping needs to be done. But guess what? We're currently sitting in Hurricane Hillary. It is about to swoop through, say hello. Hopefully she lets herself out quickly um so the shopping I'm gonna be doing is on my phone I want to go to home goods I want to go to TJ Maxx but it's supposed to be really good weather the rest of the week so it's like all right and the more stuff I buy and bring back to my mom's house the more trips I have to make tomorrow to the new apartment but let me show you what we're working with because I haven't bought any furniture yet but that's the first thing I want to do I want to buy my bed frame my nightstands and this mirror that I found online so on sale and then I have an Amazon cart of like $100 worth of kitchen and bathroom stuff. Currently, this is the state of my mom's living room. That is all Amazon. And then this, this is all brand deals. It's just like, all right, just get it to the new place. Anything else I have oh to take apart? Oh my gosh. No, nothing else we have to take apart. Okay. I just, we just took apart my vanity. And in the morning I was like, I'm gonna do my little get ready with me to move. Bitch, where? Yeah. Your vanity's up. Look at the room. Look at the room. 
it is like five o'clock. Hurricane Hillary is still doing her thing. Um, we still have power and everything. Uh, I packed four of the six huge bags. I still have to pack all my shoes and then my purses. So it should be in the last two bags. And then we'll deal with this another time. But all these drawers, we're just gonna take these out and that's gonna be like, just put in the car. Take the drawer out, put it in the car, so. I feel like the heavy duty stuff is done. But uh, tomorrow I have two strong men with me, my dad and my boyfriend, so. I'm gonna let them do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> Princess treatment. I'll just do my Starbucks. Um, over there, over there. <laughs> this is what the living room looks like. Absolutely absurd. It's moving day. It's moving day. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, now it's 8.30. I did my skincare, brushed my teeth, did my hair. Um, last night we packed up my vanity, so I'm at a little makeshift vanity to film my last ever get ready with me at my vanity. And then my dad, ugh, I kind of want to get Starbucks. But I'm scared about like what happens to my booty hole when I drink Starbucks, but I'm gonna need some caffeine and a little breakfast sandwich to get me going. And then my dad's gonna be here at 9.30 and then we take off, put everything in people's cars and head to my apartment. Pick up those keys at 10. So it's time to really hunker down. And I kind of want a little beat, a little glam. Cause like, this is big girl. This is big girl stuff. I gotta look good, period. Car is packed to the brim. My dad's car is packed. My mom's car is packed. Jamal's car is packed. And we are finally heading to go pick up the keys. It's 11.30. Let's go. We in here, baby. We in here. MTV Cribs tour. We got dad and Jamal in here. I'll be able to move in. Y'all, this the crib. <laughs> this the crib. This is going to be the new office. This is where me and you will be getting ready every day for the rest of our lives. And then you walk in here. This is also, we'll be getting ready every single day for the rest of our lives. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And then come where, come see where I sleep. Come see where I sleep. Ta-da! I won't get ready in here without you guys, okay? Okay, we have a lot of bags and stuff to bring up. This is not the fun part. I'll, I'll see y'all with the fun part. <laughs> We're four hours in and we're at my dad's uh, storage unit because he has a couch in his storage unit that I can just use for the time frame of until I buy a couch and then I want to reupholster it and then put it in the guest room and then it's like a futon so then that's where people can sleep if they spend the, spend the night. So we're picking that up. We have the last load in here and then we're going and then I'll meet my mom so that she can see my apartment for the first time. She had a busy day at work. This moving stuff is not for the girls, it's for the men. And that's why I'm letting the men be men. Shout out my men. Love them, they're strong, I'm not. I'm sitting in the AC, cause it's hot. Hurricane Hillary hit yesterday and it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I'm so hungry. I couldn't eat this morning, I was so nervous. And then I ate it on Crestable and that's all I've had. I'm ready for like a sushi dinner on somebody else because rent is not cheap. Aesthetics show off. Oh, I don't want to do too much showing, so it'll just be like right there. Just I'm just gonna take it right yeah. here. Okay. okay. I don't want to give up. Like, oh, sneak peek at the career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Move that brew rag up. I keep. That's what I kept saying. Make it aesthetically pleasing. They'll see aesthetics later. Okay. The momager, dadagers. <laughs> What? Momagers, <laughs> dadagers, dad manager. That's <laughs> telling her what to do. <laughs> welcome to my crib! We are blessing the crib with a welcome shot because we just finished moving. Day one is all done. I'm gonna turn around. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> well, we you are. <laughs> That side's cuter. Okay. Really's out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Cheers to new chapter. New chapter. Woo! Woo! Oh, girl, that's my baby. <laughs> you sounded like you were choking. <laughs> Woo! That's the 
losing. It was a long day. Woohoo! Congratulations. Thank you. We're at our celebratory dinner, chowing down on some calamari. We've got the whole moving team here. Shout out to the muscles of the moving day. I wish I could offer him a better place to lay his head. <laughs> this is what we're working with. Matches on the floor, closet in the corner. <laughs> but it's okay, TV coming soon, okay? Okay, I'll give you a better crib soon, okay? A little sneak peek of what we have going on. So far, this is my favorite corner of the whole house. It's the smell good corner. Three fire candles and then my wall, uh, my room scent, my little plant. This is my dad's old couch. It literally, I just put my purse here to cover the giant stain because this is not my permanent couch. Like it's so small in the space. It's not the color, I want nothing I wanted. It's just there. My mom's gonna reupholster it. And it's gonna go in here, which is the studio room that we were just in. I'm getting unready. I want the futon in the center and then two nice shelves for like display. Oh, and then this one's weird, like you have to walk all the way in to hit a light switch. But nothing's in this bathroom yet. But Jamal hooked up my closet already. I was just kind of unloading some stuff because we needed the box. But he put together all my hype. Sorry, I don't my finger there. It blurs. But all my hype shoes. All my hype shoes. And look at I just left the last one. Like, didn't put the last one. I was fed up, okay? Those are more shoes. It's 7 a.m. and that's how you know your girl's living her best life because I'm never up this early. But the sun woke me up and then I was just like, is this real life? Like, where am I laying my head right now? Like, this isn't my room. This is my room. This is my new room. And it's just like, oh my gosh. It has so much natural light that just comes in in the morning. I had to pee and so it just like woke me up out of my sleep and then I like literally like, you know when you sleep somewhere for the first time, you're like, ooh, this is nice. Nice. That was the vibe. You just gave him morning cuddles. I'm ready to start the day, babe. Let's go. Is is Target open? No? Okay. We said this morning we're going to go to the gym. Take in the amenities. I want to measure all the walls and stuff and kind of keep like a notepad or something of like all the measurements. So as I'm looking at furniture and pieces, I'm like, okay, one plus one is two. Two plus two is three. Two plus three is four. <sighs> I wish I had a coffee creamer because I got an espresso machine and I would make like a morning coffee. But I don't have anything. I have limes and tequila. All you need for a housework. Life is good, y'all. Life is good. Thank you for this life. I'll see you later. Okay, so right now I'm tackling the bathroom. These are just buckets and buckets and boxes and boxes of things to go in here and the other bathroom. And then I came across my perfume box. So I went ahead and I was I was TikToking for y'all, don't worry. I was sending my perfume and my jewelry box. This jewelry box is actually from Amazon. I'll link all my Amazon apartment finds um, in my storefront, but I don't have a whole lot of jewelry, but I just went ahead and put it in there. I want a little cute little tray for my perfumes and stuff, but it's my little smell good area, okay? Made a cute little TikTok of setting up my Nespresso machine, except the fact that I have no groceries. You guys want a fridge tour? Fridge tour. We have orange juice, Alani, water, tequila, and I stole these sauces from my mom, don't tell her. And then my Cheesecake Factory leftovers and limes for the tequila. Uh, but I was thought I would show you some of the Amazon finds I got. I love hard boiled eggs. I actually hate eggs any other way, really, but I always like ruin pans by making so many hard boiled eggs. So I got this um, rapid egg cooker from Amazon. I got this, I think it's the Mueller. I don't remember what it is. Mueller, yeah. I think that's how you say it. White toaster. Amazon Prime Day, y'all. I stocked up. What else do I have? I don't know where anything is. I got this knife set. I washed them from Amazon. Um, my wine glasses, Amazon. Literally everything that's in the apartment right now is Amazon. I washed my dishes. I need to unload them and find the home for them. But look how cute these cups are. 
like stop it that's a gorgeous cup amazon and i got white dishes it was like an 18 piece set amazon and i got um utensils from amazon i'm gonna just stop saying where stuff is from <laughs> it's all from amazon and then i got the cutest dish um not dish cooking utensils and anything else in here Let's see, let's see, I got an Alexa. She's right there. I need to set her up once I get Wi-Fi. A little scissors. Amazon! Wine opener. I got a bunch of these um, Blade plugins. And look how cute this is. Like, I can't wait to stock her up. But I have, like, a little alcohol fridge with my tequila in it. So fun, so cute. This deep pantry with my few snacks to get me through and my, like, laundry stuff. So on the agenda, we have Costco. I've never been to Costco before, like for myself. Last time I went to Costco, I was like eight. Um, Costco. Home goods slash TJ Maxx and then grocery shopping, as well as measuring all the places that I want furniture so I can pull the trigger on furniture that I saw online. Yeah. I did like DIY lash extensions. Like this side looks all good, but this is the eye I sleep on and they kind of got all messed up. I'm just gonna go with it for today. Like, just don't look too close at you, girl. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go chill. I think I honestly, I said I wanted to do this and that's why specifically I brought them. I wanna have a moment right now, like on my terrace or something and just write down how I'm feeling like day one in my new space, read a little prayer because God is doing his big one on me. God is doing his thing and I need to be appreciative and this is a moment I always wanna remember. Okay, this is a weird angle, but like, that's why I love YouTube because YouTube has already captured so many great life memories of mine and I don't want you guys to miss a single second. Yeah, I've shared the greatest moments of mine with you. I'm not stopping here. All right, I'll see you guys later. Look at this mess, but that means we're making progress getting things in. We hit Costco, we got some big stuff from Costco. We got our Amazon packages, okay. That means more home good stuff. Some stuff from my mom's house. More stuff from my mom's house, that was mine. Just stuff is everywhere. We got some pots and pans. It's time to put everything away so I can feel a little bit more settled in because this is making me feel very unsettled. And then it's time to go get some food and vibe because I wanted to have my Wi-Fi set up today, and of course, that's the one package that got lost. So, don't have Wi-Fi right now. So the only thing to do is unpack, okay? Can't watch Love Island, oh well. I, we got my TVs from Best Buy today. We got two TVs, we got Costco stuff, and then we did one load from my mom's house. Tomorrow the plan is to do home goods, Target, Walmart. Get a last few things on my list. Whatever I can't find, I want to put an Amazon order in. And then Thursday, just be at home all day organizing. That's why I want to go to some of these stores and get things to organize. Because right now I'm just putting stuff in places. It's like, that's not the way. It needs an organizer. But I don't have an organizer. So it's like, I'm just putting stuff away just to put it out of sight. But... I need to get some real stuff. So if you want to see the Costco haul, if you want to see the Amazon haul, check out my TikTok. But I'll see you guys later. This is what our first dinner in the crib looks like. We have Love Island and Blaze Pizza. What a fun night in! We're ending our night with some lounge vibes. Just talking about how the last 24 hours have went. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. It's morning two in the new crib. And Jamal just left for work, so it's a me day to get stuff done. And I don't really know. Good morning, happy day two. It's pretty much the same thing today. We're gonna go shopping. This time some more fun shopping. We're gonna do like a TJ Maxx home goods type of vibe and maybe even Trader Joe's. And then just start unpacking and unpacking. Every day I need to be unpacking. I did already have a mini breakdown because I thought I brought my... I did already have a mini breakdown because I thought I broke my Nespresso machine because 
You know, I might have, but anywho, I settled on matcha. I'm a matcha girl anyway, through and through. So I'm gonna get ready so I can start this day and not having more breakdowns, because I already called my mom crying at work. That's, that, we're not off to a great start, but we're gonna make it a good day. Update, I did some damage at Trader Joe's, so I better not be eating out literally ever again. I also didn't know I'd find so many good finds at, home, uh, at World Market and then I just used the laundry basket as my home goods cart. So I have all this stuff to put away, a brand deal I need to film. It's one, it's two o'clock. I need to get that in by 3.30. And then I wanna set up my spectrum. So when I come home from furniture shop, when I come home from furniture shopping with my mom, we're all set to go. Let's see what the lighting looks like when you're in my window. I'm trying to like time like when does my apartment get the best lighting, but like this will be cute for a little, uh -oh, TD. I'm gonna try to girl boss harder than I've ever girl bossed before and set up my own Wi-Fi. I thought someone comes out and does it. Not self insulation where did I sign up for this? I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting that everything works out for me. Try to set up the Wi-Fi. She'll be our newest living room furniture. Um, the first one failed. We're trying again because that's just the modem. We still have to do the router. And then this morning I had a mental breakdown because I thought I broke the, my Nespresso machine. Guess what we didn't. Um, I'm doing the cleaning right now so that in the morning she's all good to go. We can just make a coffee. We don't have to clean her. Um, I washed my new dishes that I got from the store. Look at this. If you want to see the haul from, or not the haul, but I did like the come shopping with me at Home Goods and World Market. These martini glasses are everything. I wish they had more than two they're only like $5.99, so I got the two. I got a pan, I got a cutting board. Everything I just bought, I cleaned and put out my coasters, my utensil holder, um, the coffee syrups. I've stocked my fridge. Fridge is as stocked as it's gonna get for right this second. I didn't buy a whole lot of fresh produce or anything that I have to use immediately just because I don't know what life is gonna look like for this weekend. And then next week we're in the house just eating all of our frozen meals. See, I put everything away. House is clean. I'm gonna dry these dishes while I'm still waiting. We have seven minutes to find out if this Wi-Fi is gonna work for step one and I have to do step two. Um, I have exactly an hour before I'm meeting my mom at the furniture store, so. Like I said, I'm just casually walking around. I don't know where to put these Costco waters. I guess I could do that right now. I have fridge water. How sturdy are these shelves? Yeah, I put my, my pantry all together. I have food now. Um, right now what I'm doing is the bottom of my island is my like Costco extras after I've already stocked my fridge and stuff. So maybe I just do this empty bags. Maybe I just put it right here. Yeah, and these are chamoy pickle kits. I'm gonna do a chamoy pickle case test. They arrived the day before I moved out. I was like, bruh, <laughs> little busy, we'll get to it. Woohoo! We're having mom's first dinner at my place. This Costco taco? chicken taco something platter. <laughs> it's so good. I said my first bite, it's so good. And then the Trader Joe's lime margarita. And you guys are locked in the closet because <laughs> we built my bed and we had to block the bathroom and my camera was in there. But look at my bed! She's built! You guys left me alone. You left me alone for too long and I spent way too much on Amazon. But it's everything for my place. Okay, I just came home from Target. I got a bunch of stuff, so I thought I'd give it a little haul. We got a strainer, even though I totally forgot that last night. I like blacked out and bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon, and one of the things I bought was a strainer, but this one's way prettier, so I'm gonna keep this one. I got a strainer. I got a sponge mommy. I just feel like she does the dishes better than I do. I got olive oil so that I could put it in my cute little jar. Fun, fun, fun. I heard those jars are hard to find, so I just got one when I got it. I got napkins, but I need a napkin holder. I'm just kind of throwing stuff where they, in the general vicinity of where it goes. I got a lighter, but I told myself I'm not allowed to light a candle until like I have a couch and I can like sit down and vibe. 
I got these soaps. I got two. I already put the other one in the guest bathroom. It's like really pretty. It's vanilla and raspberry. I honestly didn't even smell it, but just like the rose gold of it. Oh yeah, they smell good. Yeah, it smells good. Um, but I just thought like, okay, if I buy these and they're already cute and aesthetic, they were like $6. I'll just keep refilling it in with the cheap soap, but at least I have a cute container, <laughs> period. I don't really like lotion like that, but I feel like you can't have a whole house without lotion because if someone asks for lotion, like what am I gonna do? Like, I don't like lotion. So I got this one because I do like this one and it smells really good. Um, I got baby wipes. I already threw this stuff over here, but I got tampons, pads, cotton pads, and a loofah. I'm just throwing the bathroom stuff over there. And then I did get some food stuff. You guys are sitting on the food currently. Sorry, I, I don't know where I put my tripod. But I got two things of Annie's um, white cheddar mac and cheese. I got kettle corn. I got crystal hot sauce. These were supposed to be for the car ride. I got um, fruit snacks, I was hungry. I got paper plates, because I'm not always gonna be doing dishes. I got two maruchans. I got, oh Jesus. I got banana muffins, because I have stuff for like a full breakfast, but like I'm not always in the mood for a full breakfast. I really like breakfasts that I just pick up and go. And that's these cinnamon brown sugar um, Nature Valley oatmeal squares. It literally tastes like French toast in a little square. And I got goldfish. I think that's everything I got from Target. Yeah. And then I picked up package, I had one package from e.l.f. in my P.O. box. So I picked that up, it's what you're sitting on now. I had three Amazon orders that I had sent to my mom's house because the mailing system here, I need to test it before I keep ordering stuff. I've only had at this point, two things delivered. One came straight up to my door. The other one got lost and got put into somebody else's mailbox that somebody else had a key for it. I don't have a key for it. I finally got it, but it took too many steps. So like, I'm scared to like order big stuff here. So I just keep ordering stuff to my mom's house. But yeah, I did get pots and pans. So let's open those together. They're from Amazon. And then my Best Buy order, I ordered two TVs and I ordered um, the, the mounts for them. And it said the mount wasn't gonna come in until September 6th, and I was like, well, my uncle's coming on Saturday to mount my TVs. So then I was like, you know what? Screw it, I'll just buy overnight ones from Amazon because they had those available for no extra fee. And the ones I bought from Best Buy were $60 each. The ones I got from Amazon were 25 each. So I'm gonna return the Best Buy ones. Like we've delayed my order, then it came still. I don't want them anymore. So my pots and pans, they're from Amazon. They're $60. They're called Karoti, Karoti. Karoti, and they're super aesthetic. Let's open them. I'm like doing all this. As I said, I didn't want to do anything extra but eat because I haven't ate today and it's 1.22. Not another build. I hate building. Okay. Oh, these lids are so cute. Super aesthetic. They had good reviews. It's, this is the non-stick white granite collection. Okay, why doesn't it have any holders? I don't know, this is what happens when you buy things off of aesthetic and not use, I'm confused. Do none of the pants or I have to screw it in somewhere? I'm confused. This is another one. And they're like stackable. Oof, that was loud. So for an apartment, not having the most space. I thought that was good. Why do none of them have a handle? Am I insane for thinking they should have a handle? I don't know. I don't know how to read to have a handle. This looks like it's like, you can like put this lid on it to put in the fridge if you have saving leftovers. I mean, they're super cute, but how the hell? Anyhow, not that she used a handle for everything, but I've never seen Pots and pans without handles. It has to be magnetic, right? Okay, that's the end of the box. So it came with six, five pans, five pans, two lids, but the lids look like they fit on everything. I need to find the top of this lid because that's a screw, so. 
and then two lids to like put in the microwave. I mean to put in the fridge. Okay, this is looking like it's a handle. Okay, that's the top. I will save that because I have to screw that on. See, this is what happens when I start a project when I'm hungry. Like, I don't want to do this. Okay, handle. You just clamp it and it locks onto the pan. I don't believe. I don't believe. Sorry. Have to try it. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. What? Okay. Pan. Oh my gosh. That's super dope. Okay. I like my pots and pans and I like nonstick because as someone learning to cook, you start to like mess up a lot of pans because you don't know what you're doing and you're burning stuff. But, um, oh, and you get two. Wonderful, wonderful. Had to clean these and then find a little home for them, but they're super cute and I'll let you see them when they're all done. The TV's got delivered. Look how big the back one is. 65 inches is gonna take up the whole wall, but oh well. Back one's from in here, front one's from in my room. I got unloaded, put away. I now have this new collection of trash that is gonna go out with me right now because we're gonna go to the furniture store. Okay, we already had a busy day. Let's make it a super busy day. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna rage, play music, and unpack all day long. No errands. I like because I might have to go to my mom's house, but like no errands. Just unpacking. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I actually got like the best sleep last night. I needed it. I feel re energized. It is Friday morning. It's my first Friday. We moved in on Monday. So almost a whole week. But um, yesterday, I just was so drained. I honestly, the morning I had like a chaotic, busy, 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 busy morning that by two o'clock I was done. I laid in bed from two to five. At five, I finally got up. I organized the bathrooms. The bathrooms are done. Bathrooms check. Today, uh, I want to shower, wash my hair. I haven't washed my hair in a week. I want to actually make a nice breakfast. Uh, I'll probably do breakfast first and then get in the shower. Breakfast coffee, shower, and then I want to tackle the closets. I wanna take my time doing this, um, and that's what's really making the bedrooms look messy, is just all the clothes everywhere. I bought 60 hangers. Um, everything that was already hung up at my house, I put it on the hangers in the moving boxes, so I just have to put it back up. But I have two closets, I kinda of wanna figure out how I wanna organize it. I was thinking my bedroom will have all my everyday clothes, um, my everyday jeans, my workout stuff, and then the extra bedroom closet will have like my Fashion Nova, my Pretty Little Thing, my like night out outfits and like jackets and hoodies and big bulky things. Um, so that's the plan today. My mom's supposed to, she has a interview for her job today. So wish moms good luck, sending good vibes. And then she's coming over because my patio furniture or my balcony furniture got delivered to her house. Um, just because this mailing situation here was a little weird, I wanted to see how it went. Now I think I know what to do. I just need to specify on Amazon deliver to my door and not to like the mail room. Um, but I just, I was ordering stuff to her house because I was like, I'm not chancing it. Um, so that is going to her house. Yeah. Yesterday I made my first coffee. I think I showed you guys. I made my first coffee in the Nespresso and it was so delicious. So I'm so excited to make another one. I need to look up like, what are the pods? Like... I don't understand the Nespresso language. Y'all, I don't need a Stanley. This ice is from last night. Not even last night, like seven o'clock yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh, big news, big update. Buckle up, I'll show you right now on my phone. We ordered, we ordered furniture yesterday um, at, at like two o'clock, a little bit before two. Um, I went to this furniture store that was shutting down and it was 70% off everything in the store. Um, they had the couch that I wanted, but I want like a chaise couch, you know, like when there's the long part, like an L-shaped couch. The L was on the wrong side and it would totally like close off the room because it would be more this way. I want the chaise part to be against the window to make a little nook, make a little corner. And 
they didn't have that. So I went ahead and bought a couch. I did splurge more than I thought I was gonna splurge on a couch because I kept saying like, oh, I'm gonna get in a little couch from Amazon that was like $600, $400. And when I was measuring them, I'm just like, I don't think I'll actually be happy with this. Uh, something I really wanna do here is hosting. Those little couches can hold three people, not comfortably. Like two comfortably, three is like you're squishing. It's basically the same size as the futon. Oh, TV's got delivered too. I don't know if I said that. Um, it was basically the same size as what's already in there. And when I look at that, I'm like, that's just a pathetic little piece of furniture. I bought a 65 inch TV. Like I'm trying to have comfortable movie nights. I want that area to be a vibe. I want it to be comfortable. So I went ahead and splurged on a couch that fits the space perfectly. I measured it to a T. It'll fit the space beautifully. It's comfortable, hopefully. It gets delivered tomorrow and they're gonna assemble it <laughs> and take the trash with them. So I was like, I think you got me. It's from Living Spaces. It's called the Shuffle 108 inch sofa with reversible chase so I can put the chase on whatever side I want. Um, this wall is 119 inches and this is 108 inches. So it's perfect. It leaves room for like a little side table, a lamp, a basket whatever I want like it leaves some inches and but it fills up the space really nicely and it looks like the cloud couch but um it's not the cloud couch it's like a cream it's like a white and beige like heathered material so it's light but it's not white I think it'll be good um because I was debating on a white white couch and I was like ooh, that sounds dangerous so I bought that and then I was like all I need for me to feel settled and for me to like feel like this is a space is the couch and then i want a tv unit so i can hide the wi-fi because wi-fi and wire just be on the floor just like ee, irritating i feel like i'm in a college dorm and a dresser to go into the tv in my room so like it'll be tv dresser in my room and then t tv little unit box like a little entertainment center or whatever underneath out here and then i already have my nightstands i have my bed dust everything off and start working on the studio which is just gonna come along over time because I don't have a specific vision for it. I just knew I needed the storage. Um, so this is the, oh, and then of course, every girl wants like a floor ceiling mirror to see your outfit. So I got a floor ce ceiling mirror, not ceiling, but full length mirror, wall mirror. It's gold. That is gonna go in my bedroom. This is the dresser. It's from Wayfair, I have to build it. Sorry, mom. And then this is the TV unit for the living room. So everything's white and gold. I, all I need after this is like a coffee table, as far as living area, a coffee table and a lamp and my living room's done. I do want something to go over there. So I want a circle mirror, um, but it'll start coming together. It'll start feeling like a home. Cause right now I feel like I'm just like walking around like, what is this place? It doesn't feel like a home. I feel like I'm in an empty Airbnb. So I think if that comes on Saturday, the other furniture that I showed you comes on Monday by Tuesday, like a week into living here, I'm set. So I'm gonna make breakfast and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for the cute little recap. I'll see you guys later. All right, mom just set up her housewarming gift to me. This is voila! My patio furniture. Uh, my fingers are sore. I'm setting up other stuff. We're both being Bob the Builder. <sighs> and I left the plastic. I'm just keep from cleaning for me. But they, oh, yeah. they rock. I need a coffee out here in the morning for uh -huh. sure. See, and you got your little table here, so. I'll be posted okay. out here. I feel like there's gonna be some crazy, like, late night story talks <laughs> with friends out here. Probably. Now we gotta put some plants. Yes. You. I want yes. real plants out here, though. No! <laughs> I want real plants. They'll die. You'll forget to water them. No, I'm home. <laughs> okay, if you say so. And a cute little something right here. This is nice that they rock. I know, that's what made me like them. Okay. And knowing me, I'll probably put that out there and do one of these. Oh, yes, you could. Or you could get like an outdoor poof. A little poof. A, get a poof. Jamal says I should that get fake. That sounds more fun to say poof anyway. Jamal says I should get fake turf. Oh, that. You, he said that how much he, like, he bought a strip for his yeah. shoot stuff and it was only $25. It's not bad and it does keep some of the heat from kicking up uh, on you. And, and it's it, cutesy. Maybe I will from like wall to wall. And yeah, this. and then you can leave the other parts the same. You just do like a middle strip. So you got from like Home Depot like 25 bucks. Yeah, then you'll want like a little planter on each corner to keep it from blowing in the wind. Because mm -hmm. you're up high, so you're going to get wind. But yay. 
Well, thank you. Let's go to the pool now. All right? Yes. Just showered. <laughs> well, your, wash your hair is an issue, mine isn't. I will update you guys in a second, but this is me filming some UGC work. I have my camera literally in the <laughs> utensil drawer. I got all ready. Work! <laughs> what fun. Couch is in! Couch is in. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Three. And you want it a little bit away from that wall, Malia? Yeah. Just because... Because you're thinking you're going to do a lamp right. in that corner? Yeah. So this comes all the way out. So you have to find a lamp? I already bought a lamp. Oh. It comes today. So hopefully the base can slide under, under it. Yeah, it yeah. should. Okay. So why don't we just leave it like this in this placement for now? Leave the cardboard. You leave the cardboard. So then we adjust it and boom, boom, boom. We pull out the cardboards that are visible. Oh, that's nice. Whoops. And that one goes over there. for underneath there so you're not so you're not scratching your floor. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's got it on both sides. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> but the pillow will be there so it won't matter. Let's see. The, oh, these are probably the arms. The couch is here! I'm already decorating it. I have pillows and pillow covers and I'll probably go through a million pillows until I find the perfect look that I want on this couch, but I bought these, so I'm going to throw these ones on. Can Jamal and I run and jump in? Yes. <laughs> first pillow, the first throw pillow. Oh, I'll zip it. It's okay. The pillow slings out. Wait, wait for it! The anticipation. What are we waiting for? Pick a color, any color. What color do you want? Do we want an all-neutral couch? Do we want a little Halloween up in here? Do we like the green? <laughs> Pick a blanket, let's watch a movie. Good morning, it's Sunday. Oh my gosh, it's been, is that a week? It'll be a week tomorrow, an exact week tomorrow. I'm living here and oh my gosh, yesterday is when it got real. Like having a space that doesn't, like the, an empty space doesn't really do anything for me. It like, it was, it was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I live here, but it's like, what is this place? There's nowhere to sit. There's nowhere, you know? And so I have my bed. I have nightstands. I have, this is the newest addition, the nightstand and the lamp <sighs> on both sides. I've never had, I'm not trying to act like I came from nothing, but like we, I lived a simple life growing up. Like I didn't have, I don't know. Like I re literally remember one of my friends making fun of me so much for a friend but like making fun of me at like about little stuff like why don't you have a bed frame where do you put your stuff if you don't have a nightstand and so it's like not that I'm doing it because I got made fun of but like I feel like it's a luxury like I'm like I have a nightstand I have a bed frame I have a couch you guys I'm gonna show you guys my couch right now the couch came in yesterday yesterday was the busiest day I feel like post like moving day um we woke up and Jamal wanted to go to the gym so we went to the gym and after like 15 minutes in the gym I was getting a million calls from living spaces from Amazon from my mom from my uncle I was like this is too stressful so we went to the mail room we picked up some of the packages that Amazon had delivered um brought them up and then immediately living spaces called and said that they were here so I met them downstairs the couch didn't fit through the through the elevator i was like come on and they were giving me a hard time about how many floors they can take it up and they're like we were only allowed to go up so many flights of stairs and i was like okay but the parking garage it's just a gradual you know like you're not having to carry it upstairs can't you do a few extra floors like i'll help you push i have jamal to here help you push my uncle my mom like it's on a dolly and it's like a hundred pounds like i don't 
I paid for full service delivery. They were supposed to take the trash, set it up, and bring it in. And they were giving me a hard time because it didn't fit in the elevator. Anywho. So once the um, sofa got in, I immediately had to hop on a call. Every two weeks I have a call with my um, social media managers. Just going over what to look forward to in the next two weeks, what we did in the last two weeks. If, if, are we on track or da da da? Sorry, you guys are like crooked, but you guys are like in my bed, you know? Um, and so I had that meeting, and that ended up being two hours. It was our six month meeting. I've been with them for six months. So we we're just kind of recapping on everything and then what our new goals are and all the stuff like that. And then I walk out of my room, and my uncle and my boyfriend are setting up, um, not setting up, what is it called? Mounting my TV. So there's TV boxes. There's mount boxes. There's, it's just a, a mess. Stuff is everywhere. I go into my beauty room. My mom is building my nightstands. I'm like, okay, production line. I start doing more in my closet. And by the time I know it, they're done mounting that TV. Came into my bedroom, mounted this TV. My mom built my TV unit. So we have a good amount of furniture. The only other furniture that I've bought that's not here yet is my mirror that's gonna go in that corner right behind you guys so I can get a little outfit of the day picture um, and my dresser that's gonna go directly underneath the TV in my room but besides that all the furniture that I bought is here so it's starting to feel more homey I added all my throw blankets and throw pillows to the couch on and just melted in it buying a couch online was kind of scary I didn't know if it was gonna be comfortable I did splurge on a couch everything um, else that I bought like my lamps two lamps for like $42 um my nightstands two nightstands for 90 something dollars 90 something I don't remember what it was um my tv unit was 180 my dresser was 202 dollars I feel like I've of course there's cheaper ways to do it um but I was going for like an aesthetic um so I was kind of being more specific on what I wanted but I feel like I'm still doing everything very, ch not cheap, but like affordable. Um, my bed was only $200. I'm saying only, I'm not trying to be like only, but you know, I see people, I, I'm seeing furniture that's like $1,000 for the same bed frame. So I feel like I'm doing it at an affordable pace. Um, and again, I saved for this, like I was saving. Cause in my head, like you can have a check in a savings. I put money into a separate savings so that that money is specifically used to move out so you feel comfortable. Because me, I'll be like, oh, I don't want to touch my savings. No, this was savings for this. So, like, I have a budget of, like, how I can fill the place. Next on my list is my beauty room. I want a, a circle mirror for, like, the kitchen area that, like, in-unit organizer and a coffee table. Oh, and I have a lamp being delivered today. Yeah. So let me give you a little living room tour and then I'll tell you what we're going to do today. <sighs> Look at the bedroom. It's coming together. This is the couch. Couch reveal, couch reveal. Oh, and I left it messy on purpose because I want to do a Sunday reset. So last night after we got off the couch, I said just leave it because I want to like fluff all the pillows for like the Sunday reset, okay? This is the couch. I love my pillows. So this blanket isn't actually going to stay on the couch. It's this throw blanket that's like, I feel like the color looks better. And then this throw. The throws are just, um, I already had pillows. It's pillow covers. And I, I actually did order two extra pillow inserts. And then that pillow. And then I already bought. Okay, so that's the couch. Okay, period. Living spaces. TV. TV unit. Okay, okay. And then, kind of a fail, but I thought this was gonna be like, um, I don't know, a different type of green. And then I bought these rust pillow covers for the um, couch, knowing that it was like fall. And I bought this blanket thinking it was the same color as the pillow covers. This is bright orange, it's like Halloween orange. So I bought a new blanket that matches this, so that these can go on the couch too. <laughs> Jamal's just staring at me like, can I flush? <laughs> but um, we're gonna do a little Sunday reset and then I'm having my first guests over today. So I want it, I want the apartment to be perfectly clean. Um, we'll probably have like a game night on the rooftop. I have some board games and stuff. Um, I have wine. 
uh, I want to put the lamp that's going to go in the corner of my living room up so that we have light in the living room. <sighs> it's coming together, folks. It's coming together. But I'm excited to clean. I'm, I bought a Swiffer yesterday, like the power one that like sprays. I have a vacuum. I need to build the vacuum because I need to vacuum. And then I just want to get all surfaces clean. Clean the showers because I feel like it's easier to maintain than let it get disgusting and then have to go. So that's the game plan. <laughs> Oh, and P.S. I got this flower arrangement and this candle for my house guests today. It says go getter. It's the it's a candle and it, for like the notes of what the candle smells like. It says featuring bubbly notes of champagne and success. And the candle smells so good. This is like my smell good corner. And I thought this was pretty to go here for now. And I'll probably move it to like by the TV here in the middle of the island. But that was like my first housewarming gift. <laughs> All right, so we just finished our day with our friends, having the first guests in my house. It was so nice. We went and got food, and then we watched the fireworks on the rooftop. We played games in the game room. It was nice. And I just wanted to show you what I got from Amazon. One more Amazon haul for this video. Um, when I go hard for a color, I go hard for a color. And the fact that my whole living room is beige, beige and cream, I felt like my pink water bottle was not going to cut it because it throws off the vibe. But I wanna keep my water intake in, so I got a beige one. Haha, <laughs> it was only $14.99, so it was Stanley. And then the vibe in my bedroom is cream and green. So I got a green robe, like a waffle print robe, and the green super soft pajamas. And then, last but not least, my, my hair batteries gonna die. I got a rust blanket to match my rust pillow covers, pillow throws, so now, the couch. I still have to put the pillows on because the I didn't put the pillow covers on the pillows. But look at the couch. So fall vibes and so beautiful. But yeah. And then I got my floor lamp, but it looks like it's a lot of buildings. So I have to put that together tomorrow. But this is going to be the end of week one, the move out vlog. Sorry, I'm trying to sit y'all up so I can say a proper goodbye. That is it for week one, the move out vlog. This is a whole new chapter, so welcome to this new chapter. If you guys are just now subscribing, welcome. If you've been around, thanks for being on this journey with me. I'm excited for all the new content. I am so inspired. I like did a Sunday reset video today on TikTok and I can't wait to post it because I'm just so excited. Like I love this new content. I feel like I was stuck in a box and now I get to spread my wings and fly. So that was so cringy, but um, I'll see you guys next week. I'm going to try to be consistent on here. So let's see how this goes. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.